Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at the graphs of gradients and trying to find what the original function looked like. So we'll work our way through uh, three slides. Okay, so in this first one I want you to look at y equals x squared and think about what the shape looks like. It's a parabola and it just looks like that. It goes through zero and uh, straightforward. Now, if y equals x squared, then its derivative equals 2x. Now think about what 2x looks like, and it's a straight line going through the origin, uh, sloping up to the right. So, these two graphs are related because we have the function and we have its derivative, and so on the next page we're going to be looking at the similarities, uh, looking at what we're looking at on both graphs. So that's straightforward, but come across when you're ready. Okay, so I've copied the graphs across, and now I'm sort of looking at similarities. So, for y less than zero, which is this part here, um, the gradient, so the gradient is, um, the function's decreasing, it's decreasing, it's, it's going down, as you, because you're looking left to right, so the function's decreasing, uh, and the gradient is negative. And, when we're looking at, looking this way, these values, so we're plotting y dash, so these values down here, so y dash is negative. So when you see y dash being negative, the gradients must be negative and the function is decreasing. At x equals zero, the function is stationary. It's a stationary point, or what we call a turning point, and y dash is zero. So when we have y dash equals zero, just at that point, it must be a turning point. So when y dash equals zero, it must be a turning point. And then the function is increasing, okay? The function's going up, the gradient is positive, and these numbers this way are all positive. Positive. Okay, so when we have negative y dash, the function is decreasing. When we have y dash is positive, the function is increasing. And when we have y dash equals zero, the function is stationary. So they're the, they're the critical things. Okay, let's have a look at the next one and we'll have a worked example again. Okay, so for the f this is the function. So y is the function and y dash is the gradient. So for the function below, sketch y dash. So I want you to have a go. This value here is the point of inflection. So we should have covered that hopefully by now when you're watching this video. Okay, so have a go. Okay, you might be back. So, one is a stationary point, so that means it must be zero. Three is a stationary point, so it must be zero. Okay, the gradient is positive. Okay, between, okay, that's, gradient is positive, which means that it must be, um, must be positive numbers. The gradient is positive, so it must be positive numbers. And here, the gradient is negative, so we must have negative numbers. So it looks something like that, okay? We don't know, we're not caring about, um, so the point of inflection also is the turning point of the function here. So some interesting things to notice. So that is a quadratic shape, and that is a cubic shape. So whenever you have, um, if when you have y dash, you just add one to the power. So for instance, if, if y dash is a straight line, so this is y dash, it is a straight line, so that means it's to the power of one, power of one. Therefore, the function, the function must be a quadratic because we're adding one to two. Adding one to one to make a two. So when you look at this, add one to the power, and then you know what the function looks like. Okay, so there's some practice questions for you to do. Thanks, bye.